There is enormous chatter about a red hot property market at the moment with buyers bidding huge sums at auction and making offers within days of homes being listed on the market. Adelaide is forecast to grow by 13% this year and with the auction clearance rate around 80%, this growth seems to be on target at this stage. This growth is a real surprise, especially when we consider how we were feeling this time last year and we believe there are several reasons for this. The first one is ultra low interest rates and the expectation that rates will stay low for years, which is enabling buyers to borrow more money and bid up prices. Low rates have more than offset the headwinds as well from higher unemployment and the low growth of the population in Adelaide. Secondly, pent up demand after last year's lockdowns interrupted people's plans to buy and sell and a relatively low supply of new houses coming on the market has seen an imbalance. Thirdly, interstate movement. We are receiving strong inquiry from buyers all over Australia, particularly people originally from Adelaide wanting to return and why wouldn't they? Very strong sentiment about house prices is the fourth reason and that's really uh, been picking up since about October last year, pushing the demand for properties much higher. The fifth one is people valuing their own space more with many residents looking for larger accommodation to work from home. And that's really making something like the home office um, much more of an asset in a home now. The reality of this market is that buyers are mainly flocking to houses instead of units after spending chunks of time at home last year. And so far, house values in SA this year have risen 3.1% in the last three months, while units have recorded a lower growth rate of 0.8%. The Adelaide CBD has actually gone down 1.2% over the past year, with apartments really suffering. ANZ forecasts that the first half of this year will be stronger than the second as fixed mortgage rates lift and government programs such as JobKeeper and Home Builder end. With banks likely to make it easy to get a home loan, the bank regulator could also step in later this year and restrict borrowers from taking on too much debt compared to their incomes, which would slow price growth to 6% next year. We are also witnessing investors stepping back into the market a bit more over the last month or so as they chase capital growth and yield. So in summary everyone, please contact your local Turner agent to talk about selling your property, especially if it is a house as they are in high demand. Your Turner agent knows your suburb the best.